this is Pradeep Kumar. Uh, now we are going to see the installation of Moodle uh, using the VAMP server. So VAMP, it's the name uh, says it is Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP. So as you can see here, it is in Windows operating system. We have Apache here, we have PHP here and we have MySQL here. So all the four bundled into a single package and uh, it is available as, a, available as a software called as VAMP server. So now what we are going to do is, we have to uh, install Moodle in this VAMP server. Uh, already have downloaded this Moodle latest 19, that is 1.9 version I have already downloaded. Just we can copy this here, we will copy this here. And when you see that, uh, there is a directory called as worldwide web directory inside the Moodle directory. So in this place only we are going to put all the files for web usage, whether it can be intranet or it can be intranet. So now just click this, you will get a folder like this. Simply just paste this file over here. Since we need a folder to be uh, running for uh, uh, server, just extract all the files here directly. So the extraction process may take some time. Uh, yes, actually extraction is done here. So you can see there is a folder has been created. So now as per our convention, we can able to create our own name. So let us say uh, it is VATCC, or I can able to rename this folder. Now you can see inside this we have a lot of folders uh, which is given by the Moodle software. So now uh, we have to go to the server path for installing it. So what we have to do is just uh, go here and just click this localhost. Once the localhost is clicked, so you can see the front page of VAMP server. Now see this is our projects. Just now we have uh, extracted our VATC, that is a Moodle uh, file folder now this is what we see once you click this uh, we will be having the installation uh, front page uh, actually if you are planning for installing on your machine uh, you have to do it immediately because if somebody else uh, they can able to access through your IP address they can able to install so to avoid that we can install afresh so first it will check for all the passing the uh, passing the test whether uh, all the environment everything is available or not if at all any issues it may give something fail here so in that case your installation will not proceed further click next and the web address this is what the web address we are going to use localhost slash VATCC if you want to change for example if you want to change some IP address something like this as we are seeing in our uh, intranet uh, this is what uh, 172.16.41. slash VATCC the same thing we can use here so since it is my uh, my own machine I am installing under this localhost and the data writer, all the data like what are the students downloading the files, uploading the files, everything will be stored in this directory. So let us uh, make that as a default and then click next. Once it is done, it will ask for the database uh, name, the name of the database and you uh, keep the type as MySQL, that's the database you are going to use. Or if you have any other uh, database uh, management systems, you can uh, select accordingly. So as of now, let us have this MySQL and host server is localhost because it is going to run in the same host and uh, database name let me say I am taking it as Moodle directly yes or else I can check VATCC username is by default it is root and there is no password by default so being uh, without password it is uh, not advisable so we have to create a password for this uh, in the PHP my admin that is a PHP and MySQL administrative uh, screen we can able to create the password so let us not bother about this once it is done we will create it so automatically the database will be created by the software directly and then uh, it will check for something so you see that everything is cleared here okay 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 everything is cleared but there are something which is not been cleared so like php c url open ssl there is for secure socket layer and xml rpc so these are been not been enabled but we can if you want we can able to enable through this uh, php.ini file so this is what the php.ini file using this file we can able to enable these options but let us not bother about it because uh, actually one Moodle 1.9 does not bother about this thing but Moodle 2.0 can severely check all these things so only when these are enabled the installation will proceed further so let us go beyond this next and then click next so config.php has been successfully created so inside the Moodle folder there will be a file called as config.php will be created so only this file is helpful for uh, reconfiguring our options at a later point of time if you want to change anything so we have to keep this file very carefully then continue once it is continued it will ask for the license where on uh, 
and un click this unattended operation so that all the files everything will be installed at a stretch click continue see that uh, i need not touch an touch anything the system itself uh, will install all the software packages on its own because i uh, selected the option unattended operation so be because of this the system does the operation on its own uh it hardly takes around 2 uh, to 3 minutes for installing uh, all the tables in the database um, vatcc we have created a database called as vatcc and once it is done it ask for the uh, first user that is administrative user who is going to take control of the entire moodle software so there we have to configure our username our password and uh, email address and everything we have to everything we need to provide that at that screen so let's wait some more time it's taking some more time till the screen is moving very fast taking more than 2 or 3 minutes so let's um, based on your system speed uh, the installation will take time because it is nearly installing around 140 tables database tables in the database so maybe it takes some extra time Uh, the installation is over now. Uh, now it asks for the username and password. So I'll give the username as uh, administrator and password. Please, either the password must have at least eight characters, one digit, something like this. So I should give a password. So this is what the password I have given now. I need to have a um, per case letter. So I'll give ABC dollar one two three four totally it has eight characters and uh, admin first name if you want to use i can use or i can use pradeep kumar ts email letter something abc at example dot com center chennai india my server local time or if you want to have your own uh, time in indian timing it's uh, utc plus 5.5 and then just simply update your profile once it is done uh, it asks for the front page settings the 
minutes all thank you now oh, this is what the front page uh, sorry this is what the front page settings uh, full site name is uh, vit university chennai campus in short i can use vitcc front page if you have any description you can type it or also you can if you want leave it you can simply leave it and self registration disabled so this is for uh, prohibiting the other issues other, th other than the students of a particular university if we give email based self registration means anyone can register through their email addresses so a communication will be sent to their email address for registering so let us um, be disabling this initially so that it will be available only to our students so this is what the front page so the installation has been completed thank you